Yes, you know what that noise means. Welcome back to Transport Fever with the uh, Australian 4K with no industry map. I'll just give you a quick heads up on what's happening and what's been happening. Um, if you watch my bus simulator video, um, episode 36 or 37, one of those two, by the time you're seeing this, it'll be a, a week later. But basically, what happened is a couple of weeks ago, my hard drive had a problem. I'm talking about this in advance, so when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, my hard drive had an issue, and you know, it affects Steam games mostly, in particular games that have the workshop content, like Transport Fever and banished. Basically what happened, uh, I don't really know what happened with it this time, to be honest. It's just the Steam folder corrupted and it died out. And I lost all my workshop stuff and for some reason Transport Fever lost all my settings, like my save games, my mods, uh, my settings. Uh, you know, everything is gone. I don't know why, because I didn't delete anything from... The only game that I accidentally deleted was Mad Max, which I downloaded within an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love, love, love my new internet speed. <laughs> I can upload 30 minute videos in 5 minutes, not 3 hours. It won't make such a difference, I'll tell you that. So yeah, um Basically, what's happened with Transport Fever is I've brought back the same map because I want to keep this series running. It's a completely different save file, but I'm going to keep it going as the same series. I know you can't really count it as that, but it's what I've decided to do. And as you can see, we're just pulling into the main hub here. This train state this train that we're watching the now is a mixed train so it stops between the industry and the commercial areas so therefore it's double the size of the other trains because it goes twice as far as well so you can see it's got the industry ones which is the orange and it's got the commercial ones which are the blue ones most of them are going away full, which is pretty awesome. Here's the main hub. You probably recognise it's similar setup to the previous one. I always set my hubs up the same way so I know what's happening. So you can see I'm not going to add any more vehicles. Because there's more than enough of them. And they're basically blocking the road up and the problem is the trucks that I want don't come out until 1930 something so there is a long way to go probably about three or four hours of game t well my real life time for that to pass up but as soon as this first set of trucks come out I don't care what the capacity is I'm going to upgrade them to that uh, let's I'll show you my, my lines um, the Perth one, I believe, is actually the most. No, it's not. It's close. So you, you can see the difference between. Uh, oh, the Perth one's actually losing money. It used to make a lot of money. That's the industrial one that's making the most uh, for that. Uh, and then obviously you've got the passenger one. That's actually a profit now. This is basically a subway. It goes underground between uh, Fowler. Erie, uh, Kalgoorlie and Perth, so it's got four stops and it basically goes along the south coast of Australia. Obviously there's more cities we can add on to it, but at the moment that's all that they're needing. And it's just the one train, so yeah. So there's quite a few people waiting here. So if you take a look here, you'll see that I'm actually doing quite good with everything now. So I've got good everything, which is awesome. I could probably do a bit more buses here actually. How many buses have I got on the area loop? 
four. Could do a bit more, I think. How about the others? Uh, nah, not really. Perth could do with a few as well. So I am going to uh, bust the apples down here. Uh, add more to this. Three should do it. Probably even two, I don't know. We'll see. You can clearly see they need more buses anyway on that route. That one's busy, and it's the one we're going to upgrade. Uh, where's the station? Should be a depot outside somewhere. Got no got a depot there. Well, I can come for here and then. If you want to get blue, one, two, three, four. There's quite a lot of people in the area needing a go. So we'll set them off, they'll head on down to the route. Um, so, what's construction material seems to be the most now for Erie? The bay as well. So, I don't really want to start upping everything until we get trucks at least. Because you can see, these are held up because they're going up this way, which are obviously going to get stopped up here. I think I could actually add more planks to go out. I think everything's profiting, which is actually quite a good. Because you don't usually get everything profiting, there's usually a loss or something. I'm not going to auto replace the trucks yet. If you come off. Well, oh, let's take a look. Actually, um. So it's going to be about 20 years before the... You know what, just do it. Um, is there any... No. Ten, two. See, the problem with them, because they've got so many horses on them, they, they do slow down significantly. That's a cool one, isn't it? They don't really need to be upgraded, but I'm going to do it anyway. And that's going to be the Air to Calgary passenger. As soon as they come out, we can upgrade them anyway. That's not passenger. That's wood. Might as well just do this. That's passenger. Another passenger. If 
you're wondering why I've got so much money, I'll show you how much the trains are worth. <laughs> it took a long time to get them. What was it? Passenger? Yeah. I should say, look, doesn't matter. Then we've we'll got two grains. Grains is that colour. Then green is the farm, which is the green colour. Wait a minute. I need to go and check that last one, I don't think I set it up right. No I didn't, <laughs> set it up for stagecoach. Uh, green, red dark green. Oh, yellow technically. Okay, uh, iron is steel. Since the trucks come out, I'm upgrading these anyway. Iron, is that one? What colour is iron? Is it dark red? Ice stocks are red. And then we've got oil, which is that colour. Okay, one. And then we've got all of them. <laughs> God, there's loads. You can see it's replacing them though. So some of them are needing replaced, because if we go here, yeah, quite a lot of them are getting quite old. So I'll probably want to upgrade them. Perth Air. Perth the Fowler, that should be yellow. Set. Then we do planks, the goods. Which is a slightly less darker brown. <laughs> planks. Then we do planks and tools. Which is, since I do all this, a new truck will come out. Happens all the time. Uh, then we've got plastic, which is the that one. Okay, on. How much should I bet that's a truck? Go on, surprise me. No, it's a truck. It's not a truck. Okay, fine. Don't think the trucks come out till the end of the 1800s anyway, I think they come out about 1900 and something, so still got about 17 years. But I want to get these done slag, it's like the dark purple, and it's that one. Get all these trucks replaced, and steel should be silver. Steel, 
on. And last one. Steel. So all the trucks should now be replacing into nice new ones. So if we go here, you'll see most of them will be switching out once they are done. So it's nice to get new ones. So you can see they're getting built up pretty busy. Once we get the small, smaller the trucks and that, they'll be much better. The amount of slag. <laughs> so he's now replaced. So you can see the maintenance is going up. It's not really going up much, but it's going. It, it does go up. But it's always nice to have better vehicles, so they'll be switching out. Probably just one more, and a few of these. But everything's on auto replace, so once it's done, it should near enough replace. There you go, zero months. Is it that one? Uh, he just came in, so he'll swap out. So nothing should be exceeding its years now. Which is fine. It's always nice to have more uh, cart trucks and that. I'm not out of the dates and whatever. So I'll show you why trains are 191, why we've got 191 million. Come to think about, is there any new truck trains we can use? Uh, 850, well, that's the one we use, isn't it? The bold one. So what's that? Got well, 394, so it's got better power. Not as good traction, though. So it's got slightly more power but less traction so it's, I don't know, but what we can do, we can test it by, watch this, you'll see why everything's so expensive. Right, so we need, is there anything actually new trailer wise now? So we need fuel, so we need two fuel, then we need uh, machines, two of those, then we need construction material, two of those. This is obviously going on the mixed one because that needs a lot more stuff to go out. And then we switch it to that. Let's say tools because it's commercial. One two. One two. One two. Then we'll set you for the mixed cargo. What I'm actually going to do is have. Surprised that I haven't set it up yet. Basically, we need to set uh, at 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 at. It's basically saying you're clear to go. So that should now be able to come out. So I think the one that we've got set up at the moment can go up to about 50, so we'll see what this can do. Is that real at the end? No doing it. No. Okay. 
that should pick up most of that. So we'll see what this can do. Mm. Obviously it's going uphill at the moment, so it's... I don't think it's as powerful though. Mm. And the other one will be hitting much higher speeds at this point. But we'll watch it and we'll see. I'm just picking up speed now because it's going downhill. Where's the other one? Is that it over there? Yeah. We'll leave it running for now. Cause I think that that uh, station actually needs more than one train on it. Cause you can see it's needing quite a fair bit to take off it. And we really need to get the trucks sorted because that's just going to keep building up. And the trucks. Well, the early trucks don't have the high capa same capacity as them. The horses are a bit better, but because there's that many of them, <laughs> it's just blocking the traffic so much. Once we can get the trucks to come out in about the 30s, it should be able to cope with it quite easily. We we'll just need to get rid of all that construction. The hub. Well, hopefully we've doubled, cause we've doubled up that one. I should help it move that bit. Hub to Erie. Isn't getting any goods. No, they get getting used. Do you know why? Because do I have for fuel? Not much. I'm thinking. Because uh, we've got high on demand. Uh, let's get crude oil. We should get more crude oil to the refinery because the demand's much higher now than it was. Now, um, can we also get more planks to goods? And also to the tools as well. Did I just set them both on the same line? No. Okay, that's fine. So hopefully that will help. Obviously the congestion is going to be the same, but as long as they're moving, it's fine. So they should start collecting a bit more. What level is this? It's on level zero. For real. What about you? You're on zero as well.
I think we'll locate this. See, because of the new uh, performance patch, you can actually upgrade stuff a lot easier. So, with the no industries thing, you can actually upgrade your own industries. They cost 6,000 or something, which isn't bad. Because you can see the amount that they're producing. I think the iron could go away a bit more. How much iron ore is there? 87, that's plenty. <laughs> yeah, it's just the sheer... There's not much distance in them. And they're all getting held up, so... Nothing we can do about that. Alright, uh, yeah. So when down seven, oh yeah, oh yeah, of course we're down seven mile. We would spot a new train. How's the passengers in here doing? Well, it's down, which is fine. Um, let's see how it's getting on. I can click on the right thing. Excellent, cool. So it's just jobs. Which require a lot more construction, machines and fuel. And how are you for... Uh, construction can probably go up. Uh, let's see the lines for con industry here. Uh, I could probably do it. Is there one train or two trains on that? Two. I think we can add on a few constructions out of that. Yeah. Replace ten million. Okay. Should go back. Boom, 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 Once we get the trucks and we get a lot more out of it, I'll double the trains up. But at the moment they're all right. So most of that construction should come down now because that's picked up most of it. God, look how much it's losing because it's... <laughs> the other one's just leaving it because that's got so much material. Okay folks, we're going to end it here because I've got a lot more to record and of course you pretty much see what's happening anyway. When we come back I'll probably skip it to when the trucks come out and we'll upgrade all the trucks and possibly double up the trains to get more in because obviously when the trucks come through everything will be much quicker. So yeah, everything's just up. This line here is pretty busy. And then obviously here it's, it's at a standstill because of the amount of thing trucks trying to get in, a horse and carts trying to get in there. Here's pretty busy as well. And obviously they're all trying to get by. So once we get the better vehicles, uh, demand will be up. So a lot more construction. Look at that. See, everybody else is pretty... 
Your cowgirl is taking pretty much everything. Let's take a look at the cowgirl lines. Not you. No. Are you gonna do that? No, not the station. Yes, that one. So you can see it's pretty much maxing it out. Machines are held up by stealing goods, I think. Well, it's not goods, planks. I think that's what's holding up the uh, machines. Fuel should be up as well soon because we have got uh, more oil going through it. So yeah, the industries are doing really well. I'll show you my plans. So obviously each each station is going to have two, one for commerce and one for industry. The, as I said, the only reason I double put them both on this one is because if you look here, they both go into the same bit. So yeah, that's why that does that because it pretty much covers the whole thing. So if we go up here and take a look here, we could have like the commercial here, the industry here. Could probably double this up as well. Most of them are pretty close to each other, so that might be a bit awkward there if we can get it to leave that bit of road or something. Set the track there. So if we were to do it here, we would do it like this. And do that. Get an actual road. That's another thing I added. Uh, it's like a road mod. So obviously that's going to look a bit weird, but that will do. Uh, we can then say stick the train platform, say here. It doesn't really cover as much as I thought it would. Maybe if we put it to no, I'll figure it out. In the meantime, do take care. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.